Happy Friday, everyone. Taking a look at our satellite and radar, we have a few showers and thunderstorms that are starting to develop south of I-96. A few heavier pockets of rain closer towards cold water in addition to Hillsdale and parts of Jackson. A few sprinkles will start to develop closer towards Berrien County and Van Buren County very shortly here, but any rain will be pretty limited. A live look over West Michigan shows a mix of sun and clouds, a little bit more of blue sky in Ravenna and South Haven still tracking quite a bit of fog. A live look over cold water shows that we have a mix of Canadian wildfire smoke, fog, and there is rain in the area. As we take a look at our surface smoke analysis, you'll notice that it will improve from here on out. So we're going to still deal with a little bit of that smoke leading into our Saturday and Sunday, but it will be far better than in comparison to what we were dealing with earlier this week. Still, though, we fall under an air quality alert all throughout the day tomorrow. Breaking down our weather headlines tonight, you might run into a few light sprinkles this weekend. Keep your umbrella handy. Showers and thunderstorms will be possible, but severe weather is not likely at this point. The 4th of July will be hot, toasty, a high temperature of 90 degrees and dry. Our evening planner shows the chance of that pop up shower mainly early this evening. By 11 p.m., some haze and fog will be possible with light winds from the west. Our overnight low at 65 degrees in Grand Rapids, 68 in Kalamazoo, and daytime high temperatures will be back in the middle 80s for your Saturday, 82 degrees by noon, and then eventually 86 degrees by 5 p.m but there will be a chance for a hit or miss shower or storm all throughout the day, not a complete washout by any means. A high of 84 in Kalamazoo and in Holland, 86 in Fremont and 85 in Big Rapids. Our future track shows a few of those light showers for this evening, mainly south of I-96. But as we take a look at our overnight hours, a small sprinkles possible, though most of us will stay dry. Waking up to showers and thunderstorms developing near Muskegon and Big Rapids by 830 in the morning on Saturday. They'll eventually hover closer towards the north of I-96 by 1 p.m. with additional storms firing up in southwest Michigan shortly after 6 p.m. on Saturday. So the true takeaway from our Saturday forecast is that you might run into a hit or miss shower throughout the day. A similar situation leading into Sunday, but temperatures will be cooler on Sunday and rain will be a bit more widespread. So even by the late afternoon on Sunday, heavier rain will be possible by 2.30 p.m. When it comes to our severe weather outlook, this is a look for Saturday. No part of West Michigan falls under any threat for severe weather, but it will be south of us. So that is something that we will closely watch for you right here at Fox 17. A look at our Super 7 day shows a high of 81 degrees on Sunday, and we could pick up quite a bit of rain between the next couple of days. A closer look with our Super 7 day shows that between now, Saturday and Sunday, some locations could pick up over half an inch closer towards I-94 and a bit less closer towards I-96. But if you run into that heavier downpour, similarly to what we did last night where we received several inches of rain, some locations over four inches of rain just within a few hours, and that could happen leading into this weekend. As for Monday, a high temperature of 87 degrees, 90 by the 4th of July, and additional chances for showers and storms leading into next week on Wednesday and Thursday. A closer look with our Super 7 day on Wednesday shows that a cold front will be approaching Wednesday afternoon, firing up the chance of showers and thunderstorms, especially with that high of 91. By Thursday, showers will linger throughout the day, eventually departing by Thursday night. So Friday will be drier and a little bit more comfortable with a high of 79. Stay tuned with Fox 17 for your latest forecast.